Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about our recently published paper entitled How to Enhance Circular Supply Chains, Aligning Our Imperatives, Uncertainty Management and Sustainability. Our study received funding from the Realizing the Transition Towards the Circular Economy, the Retrace Project, and my co-authors are Stefan Zoiding and Andrea Genovesi. The operationalization of our imperatives is seen as a vital process to bolstering circularity through reduce, reuse and recycle and building circular supply chains. However, this process also introduces various uncertainties to firms within circular supply chains. And this is a gap that requires an in-depth analysis, particularly uh, answering the question of how firms align the operationalization of our imperatives with uncertainty management to improve sustainability performance and accelerate the transition towards circular supply chains. This paper fills this gap through a multiple case study whereby nine firms from various structures, regions and manufacturing industries were examined. Qualitative content analysis was employed to examine the collected primary data, uh, which comprises of 27 semi-structured interviews, and secondary data, comprising internal management reports, publicly available corporate reports, and website content. The findings support evidence that the operationalization of our imperatives is not a straightforward process. Within and supply chain uncertainties largely emerged and made in the building of circular supply chains quite complex. And as a result, strategies aimed at reducing uncertainty were paramount to managing them and enhancing sustainability performance. For example, implementing durable or modular designs helped firms easily reuse, repair and recycle products. In turn, firms achieved material efficiency and contributed to extending the life cycle of products. This paper explains how firms can align our imperatives operationalization with uncertainty management to improve sustainability performance and therefore enhance circular supply chains. In this regard, firms should complement our imperatives operationalization with proactive uncertainty management and assessment of all environmental, economic and social sustainability dimensions. This paper also fills a critical gap in circular supply chain management literature by unveiling its linkage with uncertainty management and sustainability performance. Empirical insights from nine firms within circular supply chains are provided to guide scholars and managers interested in implementing our imperatives. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you.